Hey guys, what's up? Um, today I'm gonna give you a look at a figure from the original Star Wars Episode 2 Revenge of the Sith line back in 2005. And for this occasion, I happen to be wearing a Star Wars shirt. I don't know how well you can see that. Obi-Wan, Darth Vader, Yoda, on Solo, R2 and 3PO. One of my favorite shirts. Now this figure that I'm about to show you is a character that I don't think I need to tell you much about. He is, of course, this guy right here, Darth Vader. Um, this is one of the very few Darth Vader figures I actually have. Um, the other one being Power of the Force, Darth Vader, that has a TIE Fighter cockpit that you can spin around. I'm gonna show you that some other time as well, but um, this guy is really, really awesome. He's got cool articulation, he's got a shriveled head, he's got ball hinge shoulders, he's got shriveled wrists, he's also got shriveled legs here, go up and down, and he's got a shoulder torso, that goes along with the feature, um, the feature is, is that you can take his legs and go, wait, 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 wait. you can take his legs and go like that, and he'll do like a slashing attack, which I find is really cool, so you can Cut up some sushi, or cut up some Jedi. I didn't get killed during Order 66, but um, what I really really like is the detail on this figure. It's got wonderful detail. You know, probably the best detailed Darth Vader figure out there. And of course, he comes with his signature lightsaber, which is a nice bright red, my favorite color. And uh, not enough, his cape is kind of translucent, transparent. When you put it up to light. see that real well. It's kind of like a visibility cloak. Under the invisibility cloak. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's a really, really awesome figure. Um, I believe this figure is being repackaged as we speak. Um, I believe he's part of the Saga Legends line, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but there's a lot of Darth Vader figures out there. There's a uh, one that the battle damaged, one from the Force Unleashed, which I'd like to get my hands on someday, as well as the one third two-piece removable helmet. And you know, there's a couple hundred Darth Vader figures out there. But um, I recommend you just get one. Because how many figures of the same character do you need? <laughs> yeah, so uh, you can get them on eBay or go to Kmart or Walmart and find a repackaged version of this guy. Or if you don't want a Darth Vader figure, just Spend your money on something else. Go buy one of them Zuzu pets. Go buy a Panda Montana poster or something. I don't know. But, um, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed my review. I'm going to be back in a couple minutes with another review. So you can stay tuned for that. Until then, uh, I'll see you guys later.